If your man wears Dior Sauvage, you need to tell his ass to take it back and to wash his ball sack. Cause I know they stink. This right here and this right here. Love potion. Two sprints is all it needs. Two. Booty hole don't be not eight for months. What's up, K Mom? What up, Mom? Ash. What up? What up? It's your boy Keys. Keys the go. Keys the president. Big Keys with a big wall and a big mouth. Ain't nobody what? Pop me in the yeah, yeah, you get her, you get her. I'm blessed to have a great day today because I knew I am. And let's go ahead, like, we have to hurry up and just get on with this video because I'm I'm running behind. So today is currently Tuesday and it's 4.18. The day is gone. And I feel like you guys are going to be like, Keith, what's going on? Why did you give us a video last Sunday? Why did you uh not hide the email names? I'm sorry, we're going to address all that. There's a lot that I need to address because, girl, <laughs> Time and life, life has just been lifing. Life has definitely been lifing just a little bit. If you're wondering why I have a bond on today, honestly, this is the real me. I, 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 don't, I don't fake it for you, I'm not gonna fake the fuck. I'm here to keep it real and I'm here to keep it cunt. Not too many of your favorite creators can say that though. So my nuts, you can hop up off them. Nah, but honestly, what happened was in my mukbang video, it was like a vlog, mukbang, sit down, story time, just, I was giving y'all like, Gaga, but too much Gaga. And mind y'all, remember I told y'all I was gonna tell you about like some family drama that happened and there were like some new developments in the story and then I told y'all I'd end up having to like read them. Honestly, like I don't, I don't, I don't even wanna have to, I don't wanna have to get into it. I feel like one, I was so occupied with telling that story. I wasn't really even talking about the stuff I wanted to talk about. And two, I felt like I was just telling too much. Like it would just come off as like, or I don't want to give them a reason to make me and my family out to be bad people. Cause that's basically why they got like, you know, read the way they did in the first place. And I'm just done. I'm really just done with negativity. I'm just done with, I just want to just enjoy life. I'm tired of just hanging ass, bald head holes, just, just ruining my peace. And my, I'm not really even talking about them. I'm talking about just people, period. But then adding their ignorant ass to that just didn't, it doesn't make it no better. I was on live last night on TikTok and basically I was giving y'all the full story of me to live you made it if you didn't you, you didn't <laughs> there was a lot of stories that i was talking about like that led up to the story that was came, happened like recently that made this problem the way this problem was i and i never told the stories because i didn't want them to feel embarrassed and for them they already had secret but like we knew like you know what i mean like you know when the bitch got secret animosity but it's not really secret they just she ain't she ain't got the nuts to say it yet so it's just like i didn't want to give them that reason to have animosity or think like any of the things that they thought about us were true like as far as them thinking that we were better than them or you know it's just like oh they're just they're just liars and they're so weird and i'm gonna talk about a few things today but I'll definitely be making those story times now because it's just like, girl, y'all are cut off. Like, you're done. So I don't get embarrassed. And I'm not going to say y'all's name. Who's going to find, what they going to do? Find y'all like now. So, and there's stuff in here that my parents don't even know. Because if they did know, child, <laughs> get water. Y'all, my freaking tripod, bro. It's just like, if it's not one thing, it's definitely another. Okay, y'all. So I know I was literally just in the bathroom and I said I was going to do my hair. Actually, I didn't even get to tell you yet. So, okay, first, we're about to fold some clothes. Okay, I'm about to talk to y'all, but I got chores to do. Like, this house not going to keep itself clean. Oh my God, y'all. I'm honestly just so irritated right now. I just feel like this, first off, this last month, like, this is why we need to talk. This is what we, I was supposed to talk about my last video. I wish I wouldn't have even had to, like, refilm this, but, you know, leave it to me to fuck something up. But, uh, okay, first off, I was wearing the bonnet because I was going to redo my hair, you know, wear it curly for the video. Then, if I'm going literally like blow dry it back out i just feel like there's not even a point and mind you i'm getting my hair washed or my hair braided this sunday so i'm gonna have to wash and blow dry my hair again and i just washed and blow dried it already so doing it two weeks in the two weeks two two times in a week is already beastie but you want me to do that on top nah uh-uh mm -mm. Uh -uh, it's fine. So I wasn't gonna show you my hair. I really do not like to come on the internet like with my hair not done like i feel like if my hair looked the way it did like blown out but i had like a lineup, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be fine, but because I don't, I just feel like, mm, I don't know. But it's whatever, my face pretty, so we're just gonna, oh, oh my God. I'm gonna, okay, let me go brush it. I just need to brush my edges real quick. Let me go lay my edges down, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. This is really the best I could do. I really just, fuck it. You know what I mean? This is my black hair. And if you say anything about it, you're anti-black, I'm gonna read you. If I have like time, like if I feel like I'm gonna have enough time to still like edit and get this video out by literally tomorrow, I'll add like some little parts in here for uh, like another confessions part of the video. Only reason why I wanna do it again is because I have to do something like, do y'all even like, I don't find myself funny. I don't, I don't find myself funny. I don't find myself entertaining. So I don't understand why y'all just sit here and talk to me and <laughs> I think I'm gonna put a hoodie on just for like this part of the video so I don't look like, 
as much as a mess. Okay, period. Like, this is gonna have to just be the um the beat for today. Promise you, next time y'all see me, I ain't gonna be looking bummy. I ain't gonna be looking like this. I'm gonna be looking like a whole new bitch. That period. First off, I wanna apologize to the people who were in the last apology video. I did not mean to have y'all's like names in there like that. Like, I literally didn't even realize until like two days later that the video, like, like when I was looking at the comments, I basically I was always like, I'm always trying to look at the comments for y'all and like talk to y'all because I mean like, why would I ignore y'all? Like what, 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 what would the point of that be? Y'all are my homegirls. Like y'all are my cousins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna speak to you. And when I tell y'all, I went in there and I saw like so many comments like, oh my God, Keys, next time you gotta keep the names out. And I literally like, it was my first time. It was really like a mistake. I don't really watch like confession videos. Like I might skip like, watch a like, few minutes of it, but I don't know, like, it just they just be so boring to me, because like I said, they always be so repetitive. On top of that, like, I just guess I just never paid attention to people, like, how they actually put it up. Like, I don't know, I'm just so quick to screen record, that's what I always do when I do, like, stuff on my laptop, so I just wanna apologize to y'all, that was not, like, what I was trying to do. Like, is this ghetto? Like, I don't even know if I even wanna do this. Like, I just feel so stuck and so, like, I literally just don't know what to do. This is about to be a very real video today, because, I'm literally just going through it and I just don't know what to do with my life. I don't know, I'm, I'm very like meticulous about how I like like my background and my videos to look and I just feel like, ugh, like, ugh, like today's just not my day. Like I don't, I feel ugly. Girl, I just feel like I'm at my wit's end. Like honestly, what happened? Let's just talk about this appearance topic. I feel like it's so obvious now. So recently, one of my two recent videos, I forget which one it was, I was gonna talk about this little family situation and whatnot. Then something else got like added to the story. So I was just gonna tell the whole story. But in my last video, it was a mukbang, right? Y'all know, y'all been asking me to do another little seafood mukbang and it was tea. Like the mukbang itself wasn't that like cute, like the food. I don't know. I just feel like the vibe just wasn't there like they put the food in a cardboard box or like some like like styrofoam box and the oil had got like everywhere when i tried to put it down on my like this like cardboard basically so it would like not get a bunch of oil everywhere it just looked tacky and just ghetto and Honestly, I'm very specific about how I want things to look on the internet and how I want to be looked as on the internet just because I feel like, ugh, like my just my digital footprint was not the cutest. It really wasn't. I used to get on here, hair looking a mess, face looking a mess. Like I just felt like a mess. Like I felt like how, not like, I don't know, like I just kind of felt like how I felt now. And it was kind of like a new transition for me just because, girl, when I first started YouTube, girl, I did not want to have to show that body. I was petrified to show y'all how big I was because all y'all saw on TikTok was, you know, a few, like, my head. Like, y'all just saw a floating neck. So, I'm thinking they gonna see me on, you know, in person and think that I'm, like, ugly and stuff like that. And at the time, I used to give a fuck. Like, I actually used to care when people would say names, like, call me ugly or call me big because that's what I used to be. Now, I'm still, like, big, but I'm not nowhere near as big as I used to be. And honestly, I'm getting so small, like, it's ridiculous. So, I don't I feel like because I'm trying to change how I'm seen, I want to be seen as just more of, like, an adult. Like, adults keep up with themselves, and honestly, I just don't like the, like, the vibe I get. I just gave, like, just nasty. I just gave, like, just ugly. I just felt so ugly all the time. And it definitely showed with the way I would just appear myself on the internet. Like, that was not okay. So recently, I don't know, I, and another thing that's been irritating me is on TikTok, people will tag me in videos of people who they think I look like, and it don't look nothing like me. I don't care if they're cute, big, ugly, skinny, like, do not tag me in nobody's videos. Like, that shit, it just blows me, because I feel like y'all be trying to either be funny or it's just like, I don't know, it's like, stop telling me I look like people. Especially when I don't think I look like them. It's just like, y'all will say any light skin with a taper looks like another light skin with a taper. Like, girl, be for real. If you find yourself blocked on TikTok, or so if you've ever tagged me in something and told me I look like somebody and found yourself blocked on TikTok, that's why. Like, I don't, I literally do not care who it is. I've been very vocal about that too. Like, for the past, like, year and a half, like, to stop doing that. And I'm not gonna lie, recently, I'm, since I've already been having, like, a bad week, and, you know, I've been, like, you know, just having, a, really a bad month. Like, I've been having, like, a, just a bad month, for real. People who was in there laughing, like, oh my god, like, are, you know, you so dirty, you're, I don't know, it was just pissing me off, like, oh, you think this is shit funny? Okay, well, let me make an example out of your ass, too. But, um, yeah, if you, if you're blocked on TikTok, and you wonder why, that's it. That's literally it right there. So I, I hope I solved your mystery. I'm very um, self-conscious about how I look on the internet now because these videos are literally here forever. Like once you press in, like that shit is there forever. It's like, I, I honestly, I, I gotta go get a hat. Okay, so this don't look no better to be honest, but like low key it does. It looks actually a lot better. Like I, I just, and I feel bad for saying that. Like I should not feel this bad about like showing off my natural hair. Like girl, that's my beat. Like that's my bop. But girl, when I tell y'all, I did not have it like just, 
I don't know. I don't, I shouldn't care about what people say about me, but I do. I mean, clearly y'all knowing I had real bad crippling social anxiety. It's pretty obvious that like my people's opinions on me matter. Like clearly they matter and they don't matter nearly as much as they used to. Especially like I said, when they say stuff like I'm ugly or I'm like fat, I'd be like, girl, get into me. Like I'm not. The king is here and the, the king is slang. So we're not gonna, we're not gonna play those games. Say a whole lot of other shit, but that, Mm -mm. I've never been canceled before because I don't do anything I feel like that needs to get me canceled. Like, it's just, I've never been weird like that. Like, I've never been one of the kids in middle school to be colorist or, like, you know, be, like, transphobic. I never cared. I literally just never cared. And honestly, I was the type of kid growing up, if I was, like, uncomfortable with someone or something that they were doing, I just stayed away from them. Like, you know what I mean? Like, girl, why do I need to be by you? If that if you made me that uncomfortable, then, girl, I don't need to be by you. But, no, yeah, honestly, like, getting made fun of about every single little thing about your appearance, that shit, like, does not help. Like, when, especially when you're already insecure. Like, when you already got stuff that you're not happy with about yourself and then you know some random like loser just tries to say something and it, it could be so when it's when it's unprovoked like that's where it like gets like irritating for me like it, cause it's just like when a bitch is mad she'll say anything like you know what i mean especially if it's like some stan account or something like that if they're mad like they'll say anything but and then the gag be behind the scenes they be looking like mahogany sting beetles behind that screen so it just don't even be making no sense to me so it just don't even be hurting my feelings because it's about you ugly and you want to call me ugly like come on but when you're just like posting a video talking about something completely different you could be talking about anything and you get a comment like I, talk, I think I talked about it before, like I would get comments about like my silver caps and stuff. Like it used to just be like, girl, like, okay, we get it. Like a bitch used to have cavities and the bitch got them filled. Like, what do you want me to do? Like, I literally don't know what y'all want me to do about those. Like, yes, I'm 21 with silver caps. And mind you, I do plan on honestly, probably this summer, getting them turned to white so I can just stop getting that question because it's just so like, girl. I feel like people bring it up to embarrass me and then it don't embarrass me but it irritates me because it's like why why you what are you doing like what do you come on here and try like, i don't know it just be like girl like, it, and i feel like what really irritates me is because i can't like meet the person in like real life and knock them in their shit or fight like they brother if it was like a girl you know something like that you know so social media is definitely a job where like if your mental is not right and if you don't like feel good it's so hard to act like it all the time like Y'all, mind you, I'm just filming, editing all day, all day, every day. Like, you know what I mean? So, if it's not for YouTube, it's for TikTok. And, you know, if it's not for TikTok, it's for YouTube is what it seems like nowadays. And I, Twitter, I love Twitter. It's so fun. I could just literally make a tweet and then it'd be whatever. And, you know, it's more fun over there. And as far as, like, Instagram, I just feel like, I don't know. All this stuff kind of just goes into, like, where I am in my, my life, to be honest. I feel like I'm talking about this for too long. Like, I just... I hope I'm not boring you guys. And I just feel like, am I, it's like, uh, I don't know. I'm just not happy in myself right now or like where I'm at right now. And I feel like it's showing in my content. Like these videos are starting to get less and less edited as far as like, they just be jump cuts towards like the end. And it's just so much stuff. And I feel like right now, like I don't have my car. So if y'all don't know, cause a lot of people have asked me this and I swear I've said it on a video like a few times. But when I moved out here, me and my mom got into it and she made me keep my car in Seattle because when I was 17, she bought the car for me. And you know, it's, her car even though like I, something was wrong with it don't it's coming out of my pocket but it's her car and it's kind of just like whatever like i was gonna buy a new car anyway but it would have been good to have a car out here i just i don't know like ha her always holding like stuff against me or over my head when we get in, like arguments really blows me so i just felt like honestly the stress of her holding it over my head was gonna be more than the stress of figuring out how i was gonna get around like at least with, i know i have money for an uber or like eight or like 20 or whatever i have money for as many ubers as i need so i just you know use those until the time being and right now, I just feel like a bum. Like, I just don't know. Like, I just really feel like a bum. Not just because, like, my parents, but also just because of that. Like, not having a car, like, ugh. Like, you're 21, where's your car? You know what I mean? So, even though it was really out of my, like, control, and it's not something that, like, I obviously wanted, it can get, it can get to be a lot. Like, stuff like that just doesn't, like, isn't fun. As far as, like, in, literally, example, like, my uh, appointments. I hate people who have, like, crazy ass, like, policies during their appointment. There was this one braider. I'm not gonna talk about the site. Like, I don't feel like it, but literally pause this, read this. It's fucking crazy. Like, she had, like, so, and that's why she's so cheap. I'm like, girl, four six cyst braids for $35, but it makes sense. All your fees gonna make it 180. Like, literally one of her fees is, um, it, it, all links start off at butt links. So if I just wanted something to like the nape of my neck, girl, she was gonna charge me extra money for that. And if I'm late five minutes, it's a 25 minute late fee. After 
you book your appointment and you send your deposit, you get the confirmation email, you have 30 minutes to send her a screenshot of you sending the deposit in the confirmation email or your appointment's canceled and it's non-refundable. Like, girl, she's just, it's just crazy. Like, hair is provided, but you gotta pay a $5 inconvenience fee for her even have to get the hair. And you gotta make sure you gotta be able to pay the hair five days before your appointment because she only go two times a week. And it's be like, girl, she, just, she was just doing a lot. Like, read that. It's a lot. On top of the website, already looking a mess. She just like, from jump, like, she just seemed like she was yelling at me. Like, I just feel like, no, girl, I don't, I don't. Cause I'm gonna fuck around and make a story time about that woman and she 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 will get it. So I was about to get my nails done on Tuesday next week and I was gonna get my toenails done and my fingernails done. And the one girl's about to go to another crazy ass rule of policies. And I just feel like I'm nervous already to make these appointments because I gotta plan like you got you gotta think when you buy an Uber, it's not just the ride there you're paying for, but you gotta make sure that you put ahead for traffic, you gotta plan ahead for how long it might take for them to get to you. Like, excuse me. It's just like, girl, you have all, when they have all these ridiculous ass rules and it just doesn't seem like they're nice or it doesn't seem like they're like, they're just gonna be a bunch of problems, especially if I'm just like a minute late. Like there's a girl, one of her policies is literally like, if you are like three minutes late, it's like, I think you, you're charged $15 on top of your service. Like girl, don't piss me off. So I ended up finding this one lady who to do my hair this Sunday. Pretty chill policies, pretty chill price. So we're gonna see how she is. Hopefully she is not a headache. Like I do not wanna have to deal with that. So I probably end up just going back to the girl for my nails, but the only, the reason why I had to cancel it was you can pay the deposit on Cash App or Zelle or Apple Pay, but you can't pay the rest of the service. Like the rest of the service has to be in cash, which is stupid. Cause girl, what you, what you got me budgeting and cutting shit for? Like you can either take all this cash or you can take all this deposit. I, what you want? And I don't, first off, who keeps cash? Let's say I had a car. Like who keeps cash anymore? I don't know. Maybe I should start keeping cash, but I don't. And also I just feel like, it's just like, I feel like you're, you're adding extra to my trip. Now I gotta go find an ATM and all this other shit. It's just like when I could just send you the money. Like it just makes no sense to me. Like I just hate people who are so extra. And obviously because I'm Ubering there, like I can't add, I can't add a stop for an ATM. Like I would have to get an ATM or get an Uber to an ATM and then find another Uber to get me back to that place. You know what I mean? It just, it just, it just, I don't, I don't want to deal with none of that. I don't. So I guess I can just wait to get my nails done until I get my car or maybe I'll just find someone who can only do my like fingernails and I'll just get my toenails done after I get my car. I plan to get my car either the end of this month or like before the 15th of July. So. It will be by the end of like by the first half of July, I will have my car. Thank the Lord. I'm very happy that I'm in my position as far as like I live in um, my own apartment. I'm making, I'm building a bigger relationship with y'all on YouTube. I love talking to y'all. I literally love y'all so much. Like this is so fun. I like to talk on YouTube. It just feels more therapeutic. And I feel like more people understand what I'm talking about and I can actually explain what I want to say without looking too stupid. But then honestly, I'd be looking stupid anyway. Oh, and that's another thing I want to talk about. Another reason why I didn't talk about like that family situation was because I just do not want to give them, like I said, like I said earlier, I just don't want to give them a reason to say that me and my family are bad people or that we've been talking shit about them and da da da. da. It's just like, girl, y'all are so corny. Y'all are very corny. They're liars. They're horrible people. Like I want as far as go to say they're horrible people, but they're low key like horrible people. Like they lie about really stupid shit. And they li like my cousin at one point when we were teenagers lied on me and said that I was humping my sister. Who lies like that? Like, why would you say something like that? And obviously when she lied and told my parents that, it was like so like hard for me. Cause one, I wanted to be like, I don't even like girls. So why would I hump my little sister? And mind you at the time I'm 12. I think I had just turned 12. Cause yes, it was seventh grade. So I literally just turned 12. Like, or I was just turning, about to turn 13 in a few months. And I don't know about y'all, but when I was 12, 13, like you was a kid, like you act like a kid. Like I, I was watching Disney Channel until I was like 14 years old, I'll try it. So it was just like, ugh, girl, I was more mad at her for lying on me than I was at her, like for what she said. And I'm gonna tell that story time definitely sometime next week or something like that or sometime this month. Like you'll definitely get that story time. Honestly, I just wanna wipe my hands with them. They're very negative people. They're always lying on people. They've lied to my mom so many times. They, oh my God, they lied to my mom so many times. They're just weird. And it's just like, they like lied to us and they just, people like them, when people have some type of weird animosity towards you, it just, there's, there's no point in trying. And I've realized that now I don't care if your family or not, like you guys gotta go. Like anybody who isn't incorporating happiness or like something positive into my life, like, you know what I mean? Like a mentor, some sort, like, you know, teach me how to do, teach me how to do something. You know what I mean? If you're gonna be messy, like show a bitch how she can make $25,000. But if you can't do that, I just feel like then you just don't need to be in my life. And literally one of the last things I said to them was, y'all incorporate nothing into anyone's life but begging, nonsense, and drama. Like I said it, gag it. I, I 
got to keep it real. Their mom is just disrespectful. They're disrespectful and they're entitled. They're very entitled and I'm just done with them. I'm just washing my hands with them. So yeah, basically what happened was like something happened with her mom talking about my mom. But mind you, I'm on the phone and then when she was told that I was on the phone, she kept talking about my mom and I felt like that was so disrespectful. So I obviously hung up the phone and then my cousin gonna text me like, why'd you hang up? Girl, what the, what do you think? Why, why do you think I hung up? She had just said, oh yeah, I figured, da 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 da, like, okay, you could have been like, I apologize for my mom being a fucking hood rat, but it's cool, you don't, it's whatever. All they do is got their, they always got their hand out. They're always got their hand out, I just can't. Like, I literally just hate people. It's okay to be down, oh my God, like, the sun needs to find a place and like stay there. It's okay to like be down. Like I'll never like judge someone for being down. Like it happens to the best of us. But when you're down and you're okay with being down and you're not like going out your way to like boss up, like literally boss your life up. It just, I don't know. That's really, that's a real like bum. Like, I might feel like a bum, but I know at the end of the day, like I'm not a bum, but that's some bum shit for real. Honestly, like if you were on my TikTok live last night, you know the full depth of all like the stories I'll tell you about like this like drama that they would get us in or get me in with my parents. I just... I can't do it no more. Like I cannot do it. And honestly, they like imagine not congratulating someone on their marriage for like two and a half months and then finding out you didn't get invited to the marriage. Mind you, you didn't even talk to the wife for like four years because you lied on her and her boyfriend. You like you know, you know like, imagine that. Like imagine starting some shit four or five years ago, knowing you're dead wrong, not talking to my mom, the wife, and then barely talking to your uncle or my dad, you know, for like, and when you do, it's always like something stupid like money or, you know what I mean? Like, it's never really like, y'all don't say anything. I, like, imagine not having any communication and no support for a relationship or like a, like a communion and then expecting an invite to a marriage. And then when you don't get it, not say anything until the marriage happens. And your only reasoning was, well, I'm the niece. Like I, I shouldn't have had to ask for an invitation. Well, what you shouldn't have done was start a drama with your messy ass either. They're too wrong to be acting the way they do. And me personally, I'm not dealing with it. I'm done dealing with it. Like literally me trying my hardest to like save like their relationship with my family is just like, it's doing nothing but stressing me out. And ruining my chakra. I'm not doing it no more. There's definitely been a lot of red flags, like so many red flags with them, but I just, I ignored them because I wanted to keep, you know, my family a family. I hate like literally no one in my family likes each other. Nobody in my family likes each other. That's been like the story of my life since I was little and it's draining. It's very, very draining. And especially as you get older and you realize why and you hear the stories that you never were like able to hear because you were a kid. It just makes you look at your family so differently. Like it really does make you look at your family just so differently and what like family means to you. I don't know, clearly I've never known a good relationship. And I look back at it, like I've been taking a lot of time to just focus on myself and like figure myself out and just figure out like, why do I always get in these situations with like these bad friends? Why do I always get in these situations with like these boys? And I realized, I feel like I was lonely. Like I really do feel like I was just lonely. And not just lonely because I'm like living alone, but lonely because I don't really have very many friends I can like trust and stuff. It's just like people who I've wanted to be friends with and then I like am so supportive. I'm so like, you know, good to them. And I'm just, you know, I show them so much like love and respect and it's just never, ever, ever reciprocated. That's not a good feeling. It really isn't. And I've realized it's because me being lonely, I was so in love with the idea of a person. I was so like in love with like the scenarios I made in my head for, and this is just like platonic or romantic, anything like that. I, I was letting a lot of stuff slide or I would expect stuff to, I don't know, I just, I, I just will never do no dumb shit like that ever again. Like I really have became like a whole different bitch, especially now that I'm just more confident in myself. You gotta come with that sack, you wanna start talking shit to a bitch like me, no shit. Sure. Yeah, that's why I ended up scrapping the video. I feel like I didn't even talk as much as I wanted to or talk about all the things I wanted to talk about as far as like, my YouTube page, and I'm going to be talking about those in a few seconds. But yeah, that's why I scrapped that video. It was just too messy. I was saying shit I probably shouldn't have been saying anyway. And I just wanted to restart. And I just wanted to, you know, as far as everything I've said now, I can say that. And mind you, there's stuff that I haven't said because I was trying to save, the, you know, the embarrassment for them. Because y'all know y'all would be, I know y'all would be calling them in the comments. And I know that, like, they'd be watching the video sometimes. But at this point, I don't care. Like, y'all are nothing but disrespectful. And I don't, like, care to hide it. Like the weird shit they've done in the past. Like, mind you, like, I remember when I went out there one time, uh, my mom was like, you better not smoke when you go out there with your auntie. And girl, what did I do? My, of course, my auntie smoked with me and her daughter. And, you know, at the time I didn't care. I still really don't care, but it's just like, you see, like, they just drama. Like, they, she just do shit, she just too grown. Like, I don't know no better. I was like, what, 18? Girl, 
Like, you supposed to be the adult. Like, this is why, you know, it's just, I don't know. I need, as I got older and I realized, like, that mindset kind of followed them. Like, they just want to have fun. They don't care as long as you don't, like, if you get away with it, it's like, you're cool and da 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 It's just like, girl, you cannot live life like that. Like, sometimes you need to grow up and realize, regardless if you don't get away with it, like, being a good person, a responsible adult is going to get you further than just you know, living your life on the edge and shit. Um, okay, so let's go, as far as this YouTube channel, it kind of goes into like the car thing. I feel like I've been doing so many sit down videos and like story times. You know, I've, I've tried to experiment with reactions. Y'all don't like those. Y'all say y'all enjoy the spooky videos, but a majority of y'all don't. And honestly, like these videos take so long to edit. Like these videos take long to edit, long to film. I'm always staying up all night because YouTube's on like some BS. It's just, I would rather put my time and my effort into content that I know the majority, the masses are gonna enjoy. And then you know, just y'all, it would just be a more enjoyable experience for everybody. When I have my car, I could, you know, do a driving with keys. I could actually go and blog something if I wanted to because I had a means of transportation. Ubering is just not how I want to begin around over and over and over and over. Just buying a bunch of Ubers, like I just feel like that's a waste of money. I could put that towards like my car. So. That's what I've been doing. I've literally have not like kicked it like for real since I've been out here and I've just been grinding like grinding 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 and studying myself and just trying to be a better adult like really just educating myself on stuff like credit and tax stuff and car stuff and loans and how banks work and even like a new camera setup I'm about to get. I'm about to buy a whole new camera. I think I'm actually gonna sell this camera. So if you live in Houston and you want a new camera uh, I'm selling the camera, the mic, the lens. I bought it all for like probably like nineteen hundred, two thousand. I'm literally gonna sell it for like fifteen hundred. I'm not gonna lie, because I'm I don't care. I'm literally just done. So yeah, I'm probably gonna sell it like offer up or, you know, if no one buys it. I guess I'll just keep it. But I'm switching. I'm just ready to take my YouTube to that new level. And I need to just get a better mic. I need to get a better. I like my camera. Like it's actually really, really, really good. The quality's really good. The camera's really good. But I'm looking for a different type of style with my lens and stuff like that with everything. And Sony was just the best option to go to. So that's what I'm getting. Oh my God, I just finished folding them clothes. Those clothes have literally been like sitting here for like three days. Like I've just, every time I've tried to start, I just, something stops me. Like I just feel like so stuck. I really do feel genuinely just stuck in life right now. Like I need to get out this apartment. And that's another reason why I ended up just getting my hair done. I do not like to not look presentable. And my hair, as far as my hair, I don't want to have to keep curling it every day. I don't want to have to, you know, wear it out like fro-like just because it's it just isn't the vibe I'm going for. And I just don't want to get made fun about it no more. It's just, I don't know, not even that I care about getting made fun about it anymore, but I'm over it. Like, I'm genuinely just over how I used to look and how I used to be perceived. And my hair is just so thick and it's just, it's black hair, y'all know. My black followers know how it is. You know, y'all know how to get, so. And because it's in like that awkward phase where it's not really long enough to do like ponytails or something for real, like, I gotta either have it in braids or out or curl. Like that's really the only options I got right now. So life is definitely lifing. And I'm just trying to come on here and I'm just trying to talk to y'all and explain to y'all what, what's been going on with life and like everything that's been going on in my head. I appreciate y'all though, but that's why I love y'all so much. Like I do, when I say I love y'all, like I really mean like I love y'all so freaking much. I did not used to be able to feel like I had like a group of people who follow me that actually would support me and like let me that y'all watch my videos like for real and a lot of y'all like literally when i ask y'all to like rep y'all set in the comments and tell me like what city or country or whatever y'all are from y'all are global like let me find out they came out got connections in greece like what's up like girl I, I saw so much germany singapore um hawaii obviously there's there's a lot that's over the states but there's like a lot that's like surprisingly over like the water is like over the seas and shit. So. I don't know, like it just it just makes me happy. I feel like I'm doing something right. So that's that, that's what keeps me going. That literally just keeps me pushing like, okay girl, like you may not know yet and things may be a little uncomfortable, but I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with being uncomfortable and grinding and working as hard as I can to, you know, finally live in the fruits of my success. And you know, it's just, it just comes to being an adult. And it would be a lot easier if I also wasn't furnishing an apartment because there's like, I'm putting money away for the car, but I'm also putting money away for savings, but I'm also putting away money for like, just me be able to like, to spend. You know, it definitely gets hard a little bit, but I know that we got this. Like we're almost at 100K y'all, like that's crazy. We got this. And y'all have been there for me for a really long time. So I think the least I could do is, you know, listen to y'all, take y'all's video, 
ideas, suggestions, and just keep grinding. Because at the end of the day, yes, I'm stressed and I have to work 24 seven, but like I love my job and I love that that's what I get to do 24 seven and I don't have to worry about some weird ass manager at like Sonic or something. Like, you know, my oldest girl, she would've got cussed out fucking with me, I'm sorry. And I genuinely feel like y'all like have saved my life, like genuinely. Because without YouTube, without social media, I would be unhappy. Like I would be dealing with the problems I was dealing with before, but then broke, at like broke. I'd be broke because Girl, I know I'm not the type of person to be working 80 hour weeks and whatnot. I'd be in school, or I'd be, I just would feel like my life was ending. And I was on the phone with my friend yesterday and we was like, you know, lurking through people from high school that used to swear they was just so much better than us and then looking at them now. And it's just like, girl, like my biggest fear is to wake up and be you bitches. Like actually, that's not even trying, me trying to be funny. Me personally, a happy life. No, I don't got a man. So it's just like, bitch, are you happy? But like, yes, because like I'm going down a path that like I, I feel like I was destined for. Like this is, I've always known that I was gonna be an entertainer. Like I've always, always, always known that. So I can just feel it in me. So I, I'm much happier, you know, going at my own pace and but knowing I'm going the direction that I felt like was right for me than curving my decision and, you know, starting a family super early or, you know, moving to some boring ass state like Idaho. Wait, but hold on, not too much on Idaho though, cause I know I got some mobsters out there. Me personally, this is just for me. This is just for me. And I was really just naming the states that I saw that all these people like moved to. And girl, it's just like, oh girl. It just, I don't know, it was, it was a nightmare for me. Or like, I don't know, just somewhere stupid and just be stuck in that like, cubicle lifestyle. And not cubicle lifestyle in the sense of like, there's nothing wrong with working a nine to five or having a job, but I just feel like, you know, you know like that conspiracy theory where like it's just like the government wants you to work, 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 work until you die. Like that's basically what life is. Like, or you know like they'll have like the little animation shorts and it'll just be like an adult growing up as a kid and then his work life, like he'll just be, this the same routine every single day for the rest of his life and he just gets unhappy. Like that's scary. I do not want that for myself. And I don't want that for y'all. Like follow your dreams. Like do not, I would not say quit whatever, you, if you have like a steady source of income, but you, let's say you wanna do social media and you're in school, and you want to quit for social media, do not quit until you know like you're going to be good with social media, if that makes sense. Or you have like a backup plan, like you know what I mean? But don't be afraid ever to follow your dreams because girl, if I could have counted on one hand, I couldn't. I couldn't count on one hand. I couldn't count on all fingers and toes on my body because I have been told so many times like give up or not even just give up, but people will say stuff like, you know the odds of you blowing up or da 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 da. I've had a teacher tell me that in front of like a whole like class one time. And I've had, um, obviously my mom has said stuff like, it's not lucrative and I don't think that uh, you're making money on social media. I don't think that you can, you know, she just was always shitting on me. She was always taking dumps on my fucking career. Just so many people, so many people have said that it was just not gonna happen. They doubted me and <laughs> a lot of them hoes are in the gutter, babes. So follow your dreams. Like people will love you and people will mess with you and your voice will be heard. Cause look at, I'm literally living proof of that. And we're just getting stronger and bigger and bigger every upload. So I love you guys. And I feel like I try not to complain because I know y'all are probably going through even worse problems. You know what I mean? At least I like what I do. Like there's a lot of people who will come to me for advice and they'll say like how they hate their lives or they hate what's going on and stuff like that. And it's just like, that was me at one point. Like a lot of y'all's problems, like I like, live through like it's crazy it happens to me where i'm a human i am a human in real life for real i still go through a lot of the same problems y'all go through like i'm not very much different from y'all but i feel like the difference is then y'all talk about like your work life and stuff and how you like you feel stuck and it's just like i i feel really really bad and i empathize with y'all because i know how that feels like and it's just like i wish that y'all could like the people who have sent me that stuff could feel like the release like of doing what their passion is like you know what i mean like Follow your passion. Don't let a hoe tell you we got too many nail tags and you know, da, 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 da. I might make a joke about, oh, we got way too many nail tags and way too many lash tags and stuff, but that's what you wanna do, do it. Like if you wanna be a plastic surgeon and throw a bitch eight cc's of ass in her butt, do it, they do it. As far as my mental, it's all right. Like I just been doing, basically just been doing me. Making every day, one day at a time. I mean, that's all I can do, you know what I mean? Obviously the stuff that just happened with my like cousins and stuff, it's such a deep story. Like there's so many stories that go into it that like, y'all are definitely gonna be getting those story times. Y'all definitely getting those cause y'all wouldn't even believe it. I'm starting to just protect my peace a little bit more and removing people and I'm finding peace with it. Like I'm finding peace with it. And sometimes peace can be good, but sometimes too much peace can be a little, Cause then you're stuck in your head and you're just stuck thinking about stuff that you could change. And sometimes that's not good either. So I'm just trying to find a healthy balance. Obviously when I get out and you know, 
start hanging out more and I get my car and I'm really gonna be outside, oh bitch, girl, we gonna be kicking it, okay? <laughs> We're gonna be kicking it. We're gonna be kicking shit. Like it's about to be, it's about to be shite to get your mask. I've been talking to people and stuff like that, or not been talking, like vibing with people and stuff like that. I've been getting very bored because when I see something that's just too repetitive and one nigga to another nigga that I've used to mess with that's ended up wrong, girl, they the way they get cut off. So I just don't care. Like I'm very much like done. I feel like I'm. I might be sabotaging myself, but at the same time, I feel like I just know my worth now. Like now I'm confident in myself. You know, just like literally 20 minutes earlier, I was saying like how I hated how I looked in the camera. But that was just because as of right now, I just, my appearance didn't, you know, give. Like that's just not the vibes I was trying to be on. But as you can see, like even when I cover my hair, I just feel a little bit more comfortable and I'm not like fidgeting with my face or fidgeting with a bunch of stuff. It's just, this is just, you know, I just not letting stupid shit slide no more. So I love that for myself. I can see the world coming and I just want to, honestly, that's another reason why um, I deleted all my TikToks or archived all my old TikToks. I kept like, there's an exception, like of some where I did look bad, but they were just so freaking funny. Like if I was actually seeing her like falling out about them, I'll keep them in there. But I don't know. I just feel like what do I need to be in here looking a mess for? Like, honestly, I don't want to be looked at like how I used to. I was so infatuated with the likes and like the growing followers and stuff. I was not like, I would just say anything. I was saying anything, telling y'all anything. Like that's just like, no, like it's just too much. It's just way too much. And honestly, if I had more YouTube videos up, I probably private a lot of my older YouTube videos. And I'm not gonna lie, I have. I've privated like three or four of them, so. Mm -mm. I guess it happens, you grow up and you just learn stuff, so. It's like, can I really be mad? But then at the same time, it's just like, I don't I don't like to be seen like that, that person no more. I really feel like a big perception of Keese was messy, big, sloppy, scary, and just stupid. Like, that's just really how I, like, when I look at all those old videos, that's what, and, and corny. Like, that's what I felt, that's what I felt like then, and then... This is what I feel like looking at it now. That's not the vibes I be on no more. That's not the vibes I want to be on no more. Like, yes, I've gotten into it with people, but now it's just because like I'm I cut I clock that shit. I, and I'm not I don't sugarcoat shit no more because when you sugarcoat stuff for people, they get too comfortable. Especially these influencers. Like, no, you gotta clock a bitch in her mouth as soon. What? Watch your mouth. So yeah, I don't think I'll ever put those videos back up. No sure. Um, I can't really do much about it because there's literally people who have my videos saved already. Some stuff is out of my hands, but from now on, I want to control what I put out there and how I, you know, represent myself out there. Cause I'm an adult now, I'm grown. I've just learned more. Like in this last, like, not gonna lie, this from 2020 to 2023, I have learned so freaking much and even from the age of me being 20 so last year to now i've learned so much like i've just learned so much about myself and i've learned so much about people and i gotta learn how to ex stop expecting people to be a good person like i am because not everyone's like that and if people feel like they can take advantage of you they would like i'm just not a person i feel like you why take advantage of someone like that's just so corny to me like oh i want to punch you in the throat so yeah you know i might throw a sub here and there because sometimes i still hold resentment like you know when i be talking about those light-skinned girls honestly i'm probably gonna stop bringing them up you know the jokes and the shade was fun but Honestly, I don't want to come off like I'm being messy or bitter or anything, but at the time, I'm just thinking to myself, like, shit, I don't care. At the end of the day, you wrong. You dead wrong for that. Like, I got to keep that my house up for some, some birthday shit. That's crazy. I'm not going to, even that situation itself kind of put me in a position where I can be more confident because it's just like, okay, I can see, like, people don't hate me. Like, I'm not as disliked as I thought I was. You know what I mean? I read y'all's comments, and then I'll go live and stuff and talk to y'all, and y'all say stuff like, I love you so much, or you're my favorite YouTuber, like, Oh my God, like, is that a tear? Or is someone cutting an onion? I don't know, this has been my dream. This has been my dream. I've been working for this for so long, for so long. I've been working for this for a very long time. Slowly, but surely. And I'm okay with that. Like, I'm okay with taking the pace I'm taking now because, you know, it's just, when it is my time to thrive, it'll be my time. And by the time you look up, I'll be him. You know, I feel like it's a lot of pressure at times because I'm going in such a different route than everyone around me. And especially like in my family, so. It's just kind of like, ooh, like you cannot mess this up. That's the only thing that gets get scary. It's just like, I do not want to mess this up and be a disappointment when I'm like 30. But you can't think like that. Like I gotta, like I literally always talk to my, of myself like highly. Like when I, every, when people ask me like, what do you see yourself in like 10 years? I do not say anything that I don't believe. Like I see myself in 10 years, but you know, my family will be started by then. I'll be in a very like nice house with my husband and you know, a dog maybe, maybe two. 
Maybe two kids and one dog. I don't know. We'll see. I just see whatever state I'm in, I'm gonna be happy in it. Like I'm, I'm we're gonna be lit. Like we're gonna have a very, very good time. I just wanna have like, a, I just wanna build a family. I really do. With my friends, with my followers, and with my actual family. And you know, just, yeah. So that's life right now. I can feel myself like, I don't know. I feel like a little bit of depression is starting to come back a little bit as far as I just can tell like, my sleeping habits are terrible. I stay up till six o'clock every morning, wake up at like, I try to wake up at eight, like that's what I was doing for a while, but now I'm waking up at like 12 again. So it's just like, bitch. I'm not eating as much as I used to anymore. But then I have good days, so it's not bad. When it was really bad, I wasn't having any good days, but I'm on my censorship apparently. So that is it, honestly, that is going, I feel like that's gonna be it for today's video. I know this probably isn't as like exciting or fun or funny like I was expecting, but I hope I was giving y'all the tea and the gaga in. Um, I think this Sunday for our sip and spill, if that's what I do, like I don't know if I wanna do that or I wanna do a cooking video. What do y'all wanna see, a cooking video or y'all wanna see a sip and spill? Cause my cooking video I was gonna do, um, y'all keep wanting me to do like bake something baked or y'all want, like I don't know, it's just, Getting drunk and then staying inside the house, like it just be so like, uh, just be so depressing sometimes. I just feel like a drunk. Like I just, I just feel like I need to get over it. See, this be the type of like stuff that just happens in my head. Like I just, uh, I be, it just be a million things going on in here at once, and I'm trying to figure stuff out for y'all, but then figure stuff out for me, and that can be hard sometimes. So. Cut me some slack, please. I'm just 21. Like, I'm literally a, like, young adult. But anyways, I appreciate y'all so much. I'm gonna talk to y'all next time. Love you 100 times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye. Okay, I'm sorry. That was embarrassing. Okay, I feel bad. Honestly, I feel like I just, I'm just, I can't be no depressing ass bitch. Y'all have been waiting a week for a video, so at the least I feel like I can do, especially on top of telling all y'all business and not blurring your names out. I can read about three for these confessions. Like I ain't gonna be slick Rick or none, so let's do it. <laughs> if y'all don't know what the um, email is, it's right here. Please do not text my business email. That shit will go straight to the trash. This time I'm either just gonna not put it up or I'm just gonna put like a screenshot right here. But anyways, you should be able to, y'all will be able to hear it, so it's whatever. This one says, yikes, I fucked my old friend's BD, am I wrong? Hmm. All right, so I'ma try to make the story short as possible. BC, I know you ain't trying to read too much drunk Lameo. So boom, she was one of my old friends from middle school. Basically a friend group that I wasn't that close to my brother and her. Sister ended up having kids together, so she was always around. Just for more of a backstory. Well, I was in a three-year relationship, W, someone who was cheating on me, but I didn't know at the time. I had a miscarriage and he ended up getting someone else pregnant. Oh. I didn't find out until way after the fact. When the old friend group and L would hang out to smoke together, they would all be funny about the situation because they all knew and I didn't. They were friends with the girl he cheated with, none of them told me. Mm. I put two and two together way. After the fact, main reason I have anxiety with making new friends. Fast forward my nephew, which is also her nephew, had a birthday party and she brought her kids and her BD was there. Mm. He saw how I retwisted my nephew's hair and wanted me to do his, so I did. Mm. Didn't think much of it. Mm. The whole time he wanted me. Mm. At first I wasn't going for it. He would overpay me for doing his hair and would bring me food to my job. Mm. And then I had a that's a raven flashback of how them bitches used to try and be funny. Oh. And I decided to give in and I did my big one to her BD. Fuck the shit out, dude. NGL. A few times actually he got attached and I knew it was just a fun little fling but it got too deep and I cut him off but he still tries to contact me. I changed my number and all. It'd be kinda weird whenever we have functions cause they're almost always there and I feel kinda bad lamenu. But am I wrong? Well fuck. <laughs> okay. The way to start am I right? Okay, got this, she got this shit joking. Okay, no shade, sister. I'm gonna have to tell you, you did wrong. Only because, like, I understand, like, a lick back is a lick back, and I, the dish, they were definitely disrespectful. But when situations like that happen, you either gotta punch a bitch in her mouth or be the bigger person. Let one of my friends had known some shit like that and be playing in my face. That's when they would all get beat up. All of them. All of, we would all have to fight, or I would cuss all of them out, and we would just have to just not be cool after that. Just because I feel like being. Being a homewrecker is just not, you just, come on. I really am trying to like grow as a person and me, as me doing that, I feel like being a good person is just making good decisions that maybe not, may not feel good at the moment, but 
in the long run, they'll make you a better person. And that's that's the best. So, you know, yes, he was, yes, he won shit. And, you know, old me would have told you, yes, go fuck his better, go do that, go and go use your hunger. But no, we, we, we can't be doing that. We can't be sleeping with other people's mans. Like, we cannot be doing that. Especially when, you know, I just feel like it's just so much drama here. And clearly these girls never really liked you in the first place. So let them have found out and then they jump you and whoop your ass. Then what you gonna do? And I believe in bad karma. I really do. I believe in good and bad karma. So I feel like when you're messing with people's men and stuff like that, when you're messing up a family like something else, someone like something that someone else got going on, like that's gonna always come back to you. And in the long run, just I just feel like it doesn't it always pays off to be a better person in situations like this. Now, sometimes you do gotta hop into your villain era and you know. Gag a bitch on her Joker shit. I'm not mad at you. I don't blame you, but I would I would never tell you to do it again. That's all I'ma say. That's all I'ma say. When you do some grimy shit, you see this is their karma. I, that she wanted to gag you, and I tell you about your man playing in your face. Well, look at her. Her man doing the same thing, huh? <laughs> Gag her. I effed her in word, and she don't know. Long story time. Oh shit. Sure. Hey, case I love you so much. If you could keep this anonymous, it would be best. Thank you very much. I'm going to sister. This was junior year, and there was this girl. <laughs> we'll call her bitch. So bitch and I were cool since freshman year and we got closer but we were never really friends. Okay. She invited me out with her plenty of times and I never did. So you can see who was trying to start a friendship here. She started dating this nigga I hooked up with last semester of sophomore year. Mm. I've been close with him since the sandbox literally. We stopped talking because he told people what we did and I felt betrayed by it. We hooked up last semester of sophomore year and we stopped talking summer going into junior year. So basically we came to school and I thought he was looking too good so I had my HB make us talk again. We were talking and kissing at school for like two, three weeks and then my best friend tell me he dating bitch. I found out then I was upset with him and he was just saying how he was thinking about me all summer and he didn't fuck with her. We stopped talking but I kid you not every month for about a week we would hook up. I felt I didn't owe any loyalty to her because we were never friends. And the bitch was posting lyrics about me on her close friends. Mm. And she took me out of her CF when I thought we were good and posted sizzle lyrics about me. I know you'd rather be later up with the big booty he showed you, sweetheart. But anyway, she was posting shady shit way before we even started hooking up again or even talking. Mm. So NGL, I didn't care. He came to my house one day and I gave him head and then we just kept doing it like every month. He would walk to my house to come see me. One day he came over and we fucked with no protection. He ghosted me because he felt bad and then I didn't get my period. I thought I was pregnant and I blocked him because he wasn't trying to find a solution to our scare. I unblocked him after a couple weeks no contact and he blocked me so I go up to him at school and I say unblock me right now. He said he only blocked me because I blocked him like, okay sassy ass nigga. But anyway I take three tests and I'm not pregnant. This manly asshole at my school start telling people I'm pregnant and I beat her ass. So everyone thinks I'm pregnant but I'm not. And my best friend told me bitch was talking shit about me in the RR just laughing at my situation. Also the nigga work at this dessert place and always brings her shit literally when he cheating on her. Not even just with me. I kept entertaining him because of my attachment to him. And I'd known him so long. He even told me he wanted to go the same college as me. We would be OTP for mm. hours like for hours while he was still with her how do you feel about this situation and how do you think i should move about it because bitch keep trying it i love you keys mwahh i love you too so, so this is this is a lot i wasn't expecting that i had made a face because girl i had looked at your profile i had looked at your name i'm like wait hold on is uh my sister hispanic but no 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 you're that's a black woman that's a black woman okay i had to make sure sister i had to make sure because i was like there's a few in words in there but uh no in words to be seen but i i did i had to find them later mm, i listen i'm maybe this is just the 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 old messy bitch in me i really feel like y'all just need to start talking to these people or you need to beat them up like arguing and the tit the tit for tat going back and forth you know, effing her man, and then her man effing you, and he going back to her, and then he dipping his paint brush, and you know, another bitch paint. It's just, girl, that's not good. First off, let's say all y'all have real nice, clean, you know, cooters. pH balance don't ain't supposed to mix. You know what I mean? So you just never know. Like, what is this one girl? She loved to just wash up with distilled soap, and just she, he just rubbing that, mixing it with your, just you know, you you don't want that. I feel like one, it's too many variables. He's messing with too many people. And clearly she don't know, but you, and what's, 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 what makes it worse for you though, is you're getting attached and you know that he's a bad person. So it's like, 
when you know you're venting to your friends about a nigga and you're like telling them like how much of a bad person he is and how he makes you feel and da da da, da it's like you feel not as dumb when it's just like of course you're gonna believe someone that you're talking to you always like why would you be in a talking stage with someone if you don't trust them like that doesn't make any sense but you know not to trust him and you're in this talking stage putting yourself in the situation and then when you go to tell someone like and confide to them about it you're gonna feel more dumb one speaking about it and then it's just like at the same time if they're a real friend and they're gonna keep it real with you it's gonna be like they're gonna tell you like all the time like girl you should have been stopped like you shouldn't have even you know i under like like i said with the last girl i'm not i'm not mad at you i understand when someone's really really hurt they do stuff out of their character like it seems like you were genuinely like hurt by the friend, quote unquote, and him and their actions, and you just got your lick back, you didn't care. You knew you jumped in, you jumped in your Joker era, like I just said. So, but sometimes girl putting on our cape and our, you know, spandex and toting our and, and towing our, our pistols, it's not the best. Sometimes we gotta put the AK down and put and pick the love up. He's a horrible person. You need to get away from him, girl, before he either gets you infected or pregnant. As far as the girl subbing you and shit, it's annoying. I trust me, I know, but you need to just walk up to her like we're not gonna keep doing the talking, especially if we go to school together. So if you're not gonna say nothing to my face, then don't be saying nothing to your close friends because you know, clearly someone's telling you on her close friends and her close friends ain't really her close friends, no shit. You didn't owe her any loyalty, but then that's another thing. Like I used to be such a, I don't owe this bitch loyalty. When I was like in high school and I used to be like messing with DL boys who had girlfriends, I just, that used to be my favorite thing. Even, it was just the easiest excuse to say, but I don't know, this could just be me and maybe this isn't you, but if you're anything like me, you were just kind of just saying it because you know that it's wrong. Like, you know you'd be dead wrong and you just don't want to seem like a bad person. I'm not saying that could be the case. That could not be the case, but that's what I, what happened to me. And once I kind of matured and I realized that's not what I want for myself, like I would hate for someone to do that to me. So why would I go out and do it to someone else? You know what I mean? It's always, I don't owe them loyalty to your nigga cheating on you with another bitch. You know, so yeah. For your safety, it's probably best for you to just leave him alone. And um, you need to heal, baby. You, you need to heal. Mind you, it's like, okay, Imagine he don't come to school with you or he don't go to college with you. Then what you gonna do? You gonna be sitting there like in your feelings about it because you're just gonna be like, now I'm getting attached a little bit and now I kind of feel some type of way. Like, you know, when he's, there's distance between us, like at school, y'all cannot talk for a week or two, but you know, you're gonna see him at school or you're gonna see him eventually. But when you're in college and he's in a different college, you don't know when the next time you could not see him. It's gonna hurt even more. Trust me, I'm telling you, girl. And then let's say he does go to school with you and y'all start dating. Would you even be able to trust him? Cause like, look at the way you get him is the way you lose him. So it's probably best you leave him alone, sister. Hi, Case, love you down, but I'm about to beat this bitch down. Me and this guy I go to school with have been talking since late February. I can 100% say that there has been a few problems on both sides of the relationship, but we have overcame most of it. Everything except for this one bitch we gone call her Swisher. Cause she said she wanted to be passed around like a swish. Yes, yeah, she nasty as the fuck panties probably got lines in them like a damn swisher. Anyways, they have been friends for a while and I'm not the type of hoe to be insecure or paranoid because my man has female friends. It's just I don't like this girl. She gets slick in the mouth a lot and likes to be funny. The only reason I haven't done anything about it is because I'm trying to get into a good school next year and my behavior has already limited my options, but you know I die about my respect. Mm. She also has a history of trying to steal people, man. For example, she started dating my best friend's boyfriend at the time even though they were friends. I've been told him multiple times that I don't like him talking to her, but told him if they are friends, I'm not going to try and dictate who he talks to. You know niggas don't understand how bitches be, but I know for a fact because I brought this up with her that she knows how it feel. Mm. So should I drop him or pop her? Yeah, good thing I'm learning how to keep your names out of these ones because you bitches would've got beat up. All, all y'all are talking a lot of shit today. First off, I love you too. Thank you so much. As far as the man, um, this this goes into trust and this goes into being like, being healed and you know, you gotta be able to have trust in your partner because at the end of the day, if let's say it was you, if it was you and he told you like, you can be friends with whoever you want, but I want you to know this is how this boy gets down. Watch out, like I don't trust him. It's not that I don't trust you, I don't trust him. And I don't want to put us in anywhere predicaments or anywhere, you know what I mean? You would feel like, I mean, I don't know, you sound like you love the nigga or you really, really fuck with him. So I'm assuming you, you know, follow what he said, keep him at a distance. I feel like me personally, I'm the type of person if I'm dating somebody and they would have told me about someone like this. I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a simp, I really am. And I want my man to be comfortable. So, cause if I would want my man to do the same thing for me. So you are uncomfortable with someone and you know they're flirty and they like to mess with other people's friends and they're grimy and they do shit like that. I don't need to be by them cause that's not gonna do anything for our relationship. And then you gotta think about your relationship cause this is what's gonna keep you happy. Like, you know, you can have 
all the money and stuff you want in the world, but who are you gonna share it with? Like, you know, who are you gonna share your life with? So I don't think that you should drop your boyfriend, especially if you trust him. And if you don't trust him, then y'all shouldn't be dating, no shirt. <laughs> y'all don't need to be dating. You just need to have a conversation and let him know like how it makes you feel and not him necessarily, but her. And you know that like, you don't want to even have to go and be put in a situation where she tries to throw herself at your man and you got to wipe the floor with this bitch because then it's just going to be some mess. And this could have all been resolved if he would have just left her the fuck alone. Like any advice to tell you, I don't think you should be friends with that girl. Um, Y'all, you don't need to be talking to her because I just feel like people show you your true colors. Like if I was, fr like I was friends with someone who was always talking to someone's man, like, or he was always trying to, and he still be doing that shit. Like he still used to be doing that shit. So it's just like people like that are going to show their true colors and they're going to keep doing it over and over and over and over. You know what I mean? They don't care. Some people just don't care. And she sounds like she don't care. That's one dangerous bitch. A bitch who can pull a nigga and not care. That's not the bitch I want by my man. Okay. <laughs> I know, bitch, I want my mind, nigga. So, I think, honestly, just have a conversation. Like, this is a relationship. We gotta be grown, and sometimes, you know, you're not trying to control who he has friends with. It's not about being insecure. It's just about choosing your battles. Who, why? Just deal with the problem now so you don't got to later, because then later, it could be worse. When I'm in a relationship, that's the model I would go by, so... Yeah, that's how I hope that helps sister. I'm sorry. I really am sorry. That sounds like a stressful ass situation. And if that bitch do throw herself at your man, brass knuckles and warm up some sugar. She gon' gag. All right, now that is finally the end of today's video. Love y'all so much. See y'all next time. Kisses on both cheeks. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all so much. Love y'all a hundred times. Kisses on both cheeks. Bye.